here with Pastor Rogers, who is currently the board president of Victory Christian Academy. He has been very influential in the mission of Victory Christian Academy. We started on 21st in Wisconsin and moved to 19th and Wind Lake, and from there moved here to 60th and Lincoln, where our mission has greatly expanded. Through one of our board meetings, Andrew and Digital Workforce and Pastor Rogers were introduced, and that is how we were able to be blessed with a great donation of technology, which has advanced our mission. So Pastor Rogers, can you tell us how this technology donation has affected VCA and the mission? Well, it has in a tremendous way. Our staff has told us that with the equipment that they're using, they're able to uh, be more qualitative in, in our learning processes, our, our, our testing for our kids uh, that we do twice a year. Uh, we've had equipment that, that can move in and out of the rooms that we've never had before that, that has made it easier for the staff to, to, to work with the children. Um, we've noticed, I think we've noticed a greater interest with our children working with computers because now we, we're more accessible to them. Uh, the, the, the unity working with our staff and children I, I feel is different than before where there just seems to be a, a, a more cohesiveness, uh, a more willingness for children to learn. Anytime you expose kids to greater forms of technology, you know, you, you increase that learning environment. So. We have seen the difference uh, just this year uh, with the expansion of the te uh, technology, the donations uh, in our children's learning capabilities and our staff morale has been a, a big difference. Wow, that's great. And we're actually standing here in the lab where most of the donation went. In the other building we were in, um, it was about a room half this size right. with a lot of problems with power and space. Right. But here the kids are allowed to spread out. The teacher can move around the room and teach. They have a projector and a right. screen where they can teach all different kind of things. So um, yeah. we just really want to thank um, uh, the, 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 our partners that have helped us with uh, getting to this place because it really takes an entire village to raise a child. And with our community partners, um, we, we just are so grateful uh, of what they've done. So with the help of digital workforces, uh, they, they've been an integral community partner that has helped our school in, in this vision uh, to get where we are. And um, we're very, very grateful of the burden uh, and the real sincere willingness to, on the ground, grassroots level, to work with our children um, uh, to, uh, in, in Christian education. Thank you very much, Digital Workforce. Victory Christian Academy, this is our 14th year. It was founded um, by Beyond Rogers as a one-room schoolhouse. Um, we've moved three times. First, we were located near Marquette on 21st in Wisconsin. In 2010, we moved to the Lower South Side on 19th and Harrison. And just recently, July 2012, we moved to this location in West Dallas. Um, we are happy here. We expanded um, to two floors now. We went from 105 students to about 145 students. So we increased by 40 students this year. Um, it's great to be in the new facility, having the new, the new students. Um, we added technology this year in a way that has allowed us to, um, well, first we expanded the bandwidth which that was a big change because in the past, in our, we had a lab um, with, I would say, outdated um, equipment and every other day, maybe twice to three times a week, the lab would shut down because a whole stream of computers on this side of the building would go off and it was very challenging to have, um, to use the lab and utilize it in a productive way. So I, I remember there was problems with the masks the, the math the program math. wasn't Everything. working. Math. Yeah. Yeah. Math program. yeah, so um, being in this building, just expanding the bandwidth was a huge improvement. So what is your bandwidth now? Do you know? 24 megs. 24 megs? Yeah. Download? So I don't think we, it's gone down once this year, has it? Maybe. Upstairs in the lab, we've had a few computers, a couple. Okay. but it's not nearly as bad. Yeah, it's not every other day, like yeah. in the other building. Um, we also utilize the MAP assessment. It's a national assessment that is computer-based. 
So because we have the lab um, and we increase the number of computers we have, it makes it easier for all of the students to be able to test. Um, we added a technology um, person to actually teach keyboarding this year, which we've never provided that before. Oh, that's so good. Because of the equipment and because it's running well, we are able to provide a technology course um, two hours a week to every student in first through eighth. Um, the kindergarten students only receive an hour a week. So um, that's a huge improvement. We've also, we're blessed to have laptops. Yes. So now we have laptops on carts connected to a computer. Oh, well, that is the computer. Connected to um, the, projector. the projector, thank you, yeah. um, which allows us to integrate technology utilizing videos. Um, our students are doing prezies and can put prezi presentation PowerPoints um, as they're speaking to get used to that. So that is also um, utilized much more this year than in the past. It was very difficult. We had, I think, two computer carts, maybe three, that we would have to share between everybody. And now every classroom has one. And I would say they're using them just about every day. So it is being utilized quite a bit. And we are very grateful. Um, we also have equipment that is in our library, which is also new. We've never had a library before. And um, it's still in the process of being set up. But we do, again, have uh, laptops there with, again, the nice movable carts. <laughs> that um, there's The library isn't as large as we would like. so by removing the PCs and having the laptop, it, it helped save um, space, which was a big concern that I had. So um, they should be there by um, May 15th. It's towards the end of the year, but we're determined to make sure that it's open before the end of the school year. So um, technology is one of the goals that we're working on. We're currently in accreditation with Advanced Ed, and um, they actually, you know, being the 21st century, that was one of the goals that they had for us is to, um, you know, s explain our technology plan and then how are we um, using technology as a tool um, to integrate with learning. And um, it's great. Actually, with all the, the laptops that we got for the classrooms, it was part of our decision with going with My World Social Studies, um, which that's aligned to the Common Core reading. But what's nice about the program is um, every lesson starts with a video and then there's discussion with higher level critical thinking and without having the laptop with the projector we would be unable to show that um, to show the video so because we have the equipment we were able to purchase the, the soft the social studies curriculum that we wanted so um, technology is kind of um, helped us school-wide this year. Educational assistants have a personal computer in the classroom. In the past, they had to share with the teachers. So I think that was um, six that we were able to add. Um, we still have our primary classrooms with the small um, four to five lab in class where they use those daily with RAS kids and their literacy centers. So we're utilizing um, the technology quite a bit. Well, that's great. Yeah. So the one thing that motivates us to do this every year with schools throughout, not just Wisconsin, but Illinois, is the impact on the, on the students. Mm -hmm. Because we have to get them prepared for the world that they're going to grow up in as adults. And it's a totally wired, global, you right. know, digital world now. Mm -hmm. So it, it's really good that you're now incorporating curriculum, right. like the Common Core curriculum, as right. an example that you mentioned. Right. Oh, and we also purchased um, the typing. Yeah. Typing um, tutor to actually yes, give to, the keyboarding, keyboarding to assist. Um, each child has their right. own account, so we were able to do that. In the past, when we didn't have the equipment, I did. You know, why invest in that if the the lab is always going down? So now right. that it is working, it's worth investing in um, the technology to make sure that. Everything is up and running and it can be utilized. Great. Also, um, purchased Math Excel um, accounts for every student. Um, Math Excel is aligned to the Common Core. It's kind of set up like the new Smarter Balance test that the state of Wisconsin will be administering in spring 2015. So, we did um, purchase an account for every child and they utilize that program after school. They can use it um, also in their homes, but it is part of our after school program where they can use RAS Kids or Math Excel. Um, 
in the after school program to better get practice and tutoring with um, teacher support after after school. So do they get online teacher support? Is that how that no, works? No, I'm sorry. We have our own staff in the lab. In the lab with them in here. The room and okay. If a child needs right. help, they can assist them. Okay. This is Sister Sarah Sadikoff. She is one of our most excellent teachers here at Victory Christian Academy. She has had many experiences with the technology in our old building and in the new building with the donation from Digital Workforce and Marquette. So Sister Sarah, how has the technology improved or changed your teaching habits and whatnot in the classroom? Um, I know this year we use a new site called Class Dojo and we're able to link it to our Android phone and link it to our projector, um, which is connected to a computer that was also donated. Um, oh, right. And it's up to date, so as soon as I give a student a positive behavior class dojo point, then they um, they all, the entire class, can see immediately. Wow. And so we, we've been using that for a couple of weeks, and the kids really love it. We love it. The class loves it. So, so is I, it like a badge? Are they getting like badges? Nope, it's actually an app on my phone, and you can, um, I, I just press a, a, a point and then the sound resonates through my phone and also through the projector. Wow. And so they can see exactly what they got the point for because it's also projecting on the screen. So wow, great. we do that downstairs as well. Um, where I wasn't, we weren't able to do that previously um, mm -hmm. at the other building. Um, the, because of the, how old the technology the, yeah, was? Yeah, it was a little outdated. But, oh. um, so also we, we didn't use the lab as much. We use the lab um, a lot more this year because of more computers. We didn't have as many computers. Mm -hmm. um, and you couldn't fit your whole class in that no, room. No, we couldn't fit right. our whole class in there. So um, we have more computers, and the computers are more up-to-date now, so they can pretty much uh, spend more time on our, during our lab time. So. Wow, great. And we're also looking to expand this lab to 10 more computers because Sister Sarah is such a great teacher. Her class is growing, so we need more room. And I also I do do the technology for the school here. And so another thing that we also have, but we didn't quite get it set up, was having those projector carts for mm -hmm. my computer lab time so I could show them in the lab in here. I haven't gotten a chance to use it yet, so for this next trimester I will. Right. But I get to um, show them how to follow along while I'm projecting it. So we have more um, laptops mm -hmm. that can be moved around from class to class that it's on this floor, not just on the floor downstairs. So right. that's also an awesome perk. Great, so, yeah. great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Through the donation from Digital Workforce and Marquette, we were able to set up this wonderful lab. We've gotten 7,800, 7,900 keyboards, mice, all kind of power cords. Um, we've also gotten printers, laser jet printers, which is very, very important for multiple devices to connect to. Um, we've also gotten these laptops, which are 2710s or 2730s, which is nice for our library and also for uh, teachers to take home so they can work from home and also keep up with their uh, grading and different things like that with the EAs assisting the teachers. It's very important for them to have mobile technology in order to accomplish that mission. We've also been able to select various different academic curriculums that require certain the minimum requirements for machines that we are now able to embark on because we have the technology to run the programs, which is just impacted the students so much. They love the fact that they have a working computer when they come to school and they're able to do their homework and um, other things like searches for various things. So it's great. <laughs>